Hey, Noob Noob, what if I told you in order to write for Marvel Comics, you had to hate Marvel Comics? I hate them so hard. I mean, more specifically, the movies, but... The movies. Oh, my God. The ones with Brie Larson, they suck a yes. lot. Uh-huh. We're going to take a look at a Bounding Into Comics article where the producer of such hits as Captain America Civil War, Wakanda Forever, and Falcon and the Winter Soldier, you know, that real winner. We're going to explore what he had to say about potentially writing a Marvel movie. I can't write. You cannot. No. It's the Guess old. what? You and Taika Waititi, neither can. That can poor be, boy, though. Write. Dear Lord. So here we go. Just in a gro- Oh, what? You stopped it. Oh Good my God! You. Did I? I didn't stop it though. I don't know where it is. It's attacking us. <laughs> if it did, dude, I'm uh, yeah. noping out after the second one. You're such a puss. This happens again. We got we got Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special to watch. Uh huh. And, and Daddy friends. wants to be lucid for it. Nope. <laughs> you can always watch it on your own. I can. The Disney subsidiary. Uh, this guy. I guess this guy works for Disney and has a podcast. And he asked this other dude some questions. They asked, who, who's this producer? You're throwing Nate Moore. <laughs> not Taika Waititi. Not, not Taika Waititi. He was producing things, and they asked on a podcast if there was some kind of Marvel boot camp you had to go through to ingratiate the filmmakers into the world, knowing things. What do you think he said? Um, if you are good, then please don't come to Marvel. because <laughs> Clearly, that's what he said. We want to control you like a puppet. Yeah, it wasn't... Uh, the Black Widow, they already filmed like the action sequences before they even wrote the plot. Yeah, it was something, something stupid ridiculous. like that. Yeah. yeah, and he also goes on to say, he goes, one thing I find or I think is interesting and specifically for writers, I would say is that a lot of times we're pitch writers who love Marvel. And to me, that's always a red flag. Right. Don't love things that we're doing. Yeah, you must not love them. Hate them. Show so much hate for them. Clearly, because She-Hulk writers hated Hulk or She-Hulk, that so they, true. they no, they really hated, hated that show. They hated and the She-Hulk. Hulk. They loved the woman. Yeah, but they hated themselves because they wrote Jen. She was miserable and drunk. That is true. So anyway, I don't want you to have a pre-existing idea of what it is because you grew up with the comics and that's what you want to recreate. I want someone who's going to be heard or hard on the material who can go, what is this? I think there's a movie here, but maybe we should be looking at it this way yeah it doesn't sound like a great idea so you just want some dipshit interpreting it in the wrong way yeah they don't want people who are going to recreate comic book panels which I think is kind of so Zack Snyder would not be great for no this. he's like there's not a direct one to one translation to the best version of the movie yeah because uh, I think that the Watchmen's pretty much better than any of the phase 4 movies because here he goes he's talking about you know to further his argument, he's like, sometimes it takes someone out of the culture to go, hey, you know what this, you know what I think this, sh uh, you know, wait, I know English, you please. think it should be this, but maybe it should be this other thing. Oh, <laughs> more than put forth Thor Ragnarok and Thor Love and Thunder. Those are great examples. There is a typo in this article. It's not David Cohen was not the director. That's Taika Waititi. And Taika Waititi, dude, Ragnarok was just okay. It's not a great movie. If you go back to it, you're going to be like, ah, 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 ah. and then you're going to watch Love and Thunder. You're going to be like, yeah. Remember how we all really wanted to see Thor hang out with the Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes. Yeah, he was like, nah, I don't want that. You got like five minutes of it. Yeah, but that's not enough. Not interested. No. Maybe Thor's in the Christmas special. Well, what I wanted to point out is there's a very good example of, of this. Henry Cavill had a conversation, and prior to him leaving The Witcher, people said this, and it came out on, uh, I believe it's one of the writers on the X-Men 1994 or 97 reboot or whatever they're doing, the continuation of the X-Men series, who was like, yeah, if you don't love the original material, I'm not interested, because if you hate the material, you get something like this. Um, and Henry on The Witcher, I mean, you are genuinely a fan of the books and the... Apparently on set, 
you know more than anyone else. I wouldn't necessarily say anyone else, but I, I am. Yes. A, I'm a, I'm a... <laughs> so do you correct people? Um, I don't necessarily... <laughs> I, I am <laughs> effusive about getting the... Uh, being, being loyal to the source material. Let's put it that way. He's and we don't have guy. to hear that. He is awesome. He's so British. People have like no idea how British he is. Him, honestly. We're probably popping people's bubbles, like bursting people's yeah. bubbles. But so you hear that he really cared about The Witcher, and it came out that the writers didn't care about The Witcher at all. They, in fact, hated it and hated the source material. So why do you think he left The Witcher? Because they hate the source material. So he hates them. Yes. By transitive should. properties. He should just kill them. He has a big sword. He should. He should just chop him up. He's big enough to kill him even if it's a fake sword. Just hit him enough times. So it just seems to be what's going on in Hollywood is that you have these... These people just don't care at all about... Kevin Feige, the grand architect of all things Marvel, is a giant freaking Marvel fan. The man was literally waiting like 15 years or 12 years to... Filmed the one scene where Spider-Man is pushing himself up out of the rubble. The guy literally knows comic book scene panels. Yet you're going to hire people who don't care. <laughs> that doesn't make a lot of sense. It does not. So we may have solved the mystery as to why Marvel hates Marvel. Just hire Henry Cavill for everything. Yeah, especially if you're going to do a Warhammer 40K movie. Because he loves that thing. He, or like, just He anything. paints the models. He does. That's yeah. that's too much effort. That's a lot of nerd. Like that's good for him, but like, damn, the hand. Like, how do how do you have that steady? Of a Your hand? hands are, are just too supple to they, do anything that that yeah. manually labor intensive. I'm gonna play some tennis tomorrow with these hands, hitting them balls back and forth. You're gonna get slaughtered. Getting sweaty. Yep. Anyway, uh, be sure to catch our full length audio podcast. It's on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those fantastic places and more. We do stream live here on YouTube, Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're also on Rumble. Catch us there as well. Like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, we're on to the next one.